In today's video, I'll be showing Brookhaven secrets from level 1 to level 100. So for us to start off, we have the Public Pool Secret Passage. This one's pretty simple and well known. All you need to do is pass through this fake wall and you'll find a tunnel. Which if you keep going through it, there's even another tunnel to find. And if you go to the end of this one, then through this vent, you'll find yourself in front of Brookhaven Bank Safe. That's not only it as it actually has a bunch of exits. Like this one that'll take you to this bizarre place. Where you can also go up this ramp. And going up against this wall will open a secret passage that takes us behind the grocery store. But we can't forget about the bunker there's inside this room. I'm not kidding. It's right below us. To open it up, we just click on the light. That a trapdoor will open and you'll find this place. Here you'll find all kinds of weapons, explosives, and safes. They even have access to all security cameras around the city. The secrets near spawn don't stop there. Because if we go to the downtown metro station and click right on this sign, you'll be able to go through this wall and you'll find yourself beneath the spawn area. But that's basically it on this one. It's just a secret little nook. Since we're already here, let's get inside the train. If you go into the pilot's cabin and place a sleeping bag right on the window, as you lie down on it, we can appear outside of it, which is another secret room in the game. This is also where you can see how they did the moving animation for the metro. We can also find another well-known one at the gas station. If you decide to go beside the food mart, you'll actually find a secret door to a bunker. And it's even a secret agency bunker. Inside, you'll find all kinds of levers and buttons that may do a bunch of weird stuff. This one's an oldie, so you probably knew about it. The police station also hides some stuff. If we go into one of the cells, then jump on the bed and into the vent system, you'll be in this empty looking room. Room, where you can actually find a secret corridor that leads into a small room. There's all kinds of bizarre things, like this picture of an FBI agent. That weird white stick down there. And behind this cabinet, you'll even find a secret blue card. On the roof of it, there's also another secret passage, which is this tower with nothing in it. St. Luke's Hospital actually hides tons of secrets from us. We can start with the one in the x-ray room, which is that you can jump behind this screen and find a secret room back here. If you pay close attention, you'll find find a blue button beneath the desk. As you click on it, you'll be teleported to a place that I'm not even sure where it is. One of the weirdest things about it is this energy shining in my hand. Now, if you want to get out, you'll need to find this tool. That has another blue button beneath. Clicking it will teleport you to Lake Madison. Another thing about the hospital is that if we climb up to the second floor, then get into this broken glass, you'll find this abandoned floor of the hospital, which is one of the most bizarre places in the whole game. There's all kinds of dirty things, Chairs turned, broken glass, and even a zombie's body kept in a pod. We'll see what Lake Madison has to offer now. If we have a closer look at the yacht, we can actually find some secrets. Like if you go down to the bedrooms and then into the bathroom. Now we make ourselves really small. You can just walk past the shower box and find a secret room where you'll find guns, gold bars, money, and even explosives. And that's not all. Because if you go right on this side of the yacht, you'll be able to pass through it. We'll basically be inside of its geometry, which is where you can find a hidden message of the game's creator. Wolfpack was here. Just a nice little message left from him to us. We can also find something hidden in the lake's cabin. In here, you'll find a secret entrance in the bathroom. We just need to get on top of the shower box. Jumping again will take you into the secret attic. You can find a chair, toys, and this creepy doll as well. This mirror with no reflection and even a light switch, as if someone had actually been living up here for some time. You can actually find a couple of things hidden in town hall. One of them is a hidden button behind this pillar. As you click on it, you'll be able to go into this building's attic, where you'll find this money machine that if you turn on will start producing dollar bills until we stop it. We can actually find another thing in the mayor's office, which is to activate some messages from the devs on that blank frame. For that, we just need to turn the lights off. With that done, you'll find this special thanks message for some people. The ones in Brookhaven Cemetery you probably already know about. One of them is really damn old. It's this fake floor on this grave that takes you to this hole with a casket that you can click on that growls back at you. For our next secret, we'll need that blue card we got back at the police station as it actually has a function. To do it, we'll need to go to Brookhaven's power grid to the cabin right beside the panels because this place is normally locked and it can only be opened by the card we got. So that's the easy way to get into it. Clicking on the screen in 
inside will prompt us for a password. The answer is actually your player name in Roblox. Doing that will make a password approved message pop up. You can also find these levers you can turn on and off inside here. There's another secret here in the hospital, but a more complex one if you will. We first get to the secret room behind X-Ray. Above this cabinet, there's another secret corridor that we can only get into if we do some stuff. One of them is clicking the paper on the desk. If you hear the sound, it worked. Next, we need to go to this barn because a secret button should show up here. There it is. We'll click that and hear that same sound. The button even and turn red now. Now if we go back into the hospital, then into that same room from before, we'll finally be able to get into that corridor, where you'll find this doctor's scalpel just lying on the floor. You can also click on it, and another sound will be heard. Another basic secret we have is here in the church. If we go and spawn in a coffin, you can lie inside of it, and there you're able to find an old picture of Mr. Brookhaven. But that's not only what it can do, because if we keep clicking the funerals button to spawn it as we try to lie down on it every time, at some point, you'll find yourself teleported beneath the church. We just stay right there in the coffin. But don't think about getting out as you'll now be stuck there until you reset your character. Like if you were buried right there. There's another church secret we can do. For that, we'll need this exact house. If you go to the second floor, clicking on here will lower an elevator that takes us to the attic. Here's where the safe of the house is hidden. But on this side, you'll also find a little secret. These glowing crystals we can grab. With it in hand, we can leave the house. And on the church church's roof, you'll now find a button. It even starts glowing after we click it. With that done, we just go back to the church, spawn at a coffin. That behind it, a button will show up. Clicking it will teleport us to the top of one of the arches. This is one of the most complex ones in my opinion, but it's pretty old so many people know about it. Now, if we go to the second floor of the hospital again, inside this room, you can find an agency paper lying on the flip desk. That actually starts burning as you click on it. This action just made a secret item appear on the map. Here in the library, we can now find above these bookshelves a hidden red book. You heard the bizarre sound it just made, right? This one by itself doesn't do much, but it makes a bunch of stuff possible. Like if we go over to the motel, then rent one of the rooms they have. You won't have a regular room as it will now be all dirty and messed up. Everything is thrown to the floor, like if someone just trashed the place. There's even a hidden message you can find behind this armchair. I'll put it close to the camera and you can pause if you want. And this is not even the only thing we we have here because if we grab the black book beneath the table you'll be able to grab and even make it look like you're reading but doing that actually makes us able to click this empty frame on the wall it makes a weird sound as well over on this nightstand left of the bed you can turn your camera enough to find a hidden button that we can make glow as that sound plays again after that we can go back to the agency bunker but we'll actually go to this side of it which is actually the outside of it while inside the mountain where you can now find these crates that actually weren't here before doing the motel stuff. We need to do something with them. If you grab a hammer and start doing the hammering animation on them, they'll start disappearing one by one. And that's what we want. Whenever the last one goes out, this portal will show up. It actually kind of looked like that power that we got on our hands, right? And if you think that's all we have, you're completely wrong. Because our last step is actually to go over to this mountain behind the gas station. Going into this secret passage will now have activated this massive secret agency portal inside of Brookhaven. But it sadly doesn't really take take us anywhere right now. We're finished with the motel stuff, but the book still has purpose. For this one, we'll actually need to be inside Brookhaven's museum. Since we can take it up to this empty display and try to use it, you'll see this red light appear on it as well as some sounds will start happening. Because we've now made a ghost appear that seems to be holding the same book as us. We literally just summoned a ghost inside of Brookhaven. And it actually shows up right where that skull was. There's another thing we can find in the museum. To do that one, we'll need this house right here. Because if we go up to the main bedroom, you can actually find a button hidden beneath the bed that will glow as we click it. Now over in the church we just have to ring its bell. With that done, we've now activated another secret item around the map. Just like we did with the book. This one's right here on this arch. If you look beneath it, you'll find a white stick that you can grab. We can even see it on the shelf at the police station. We can finally go back to the museum. And if we try to use it while in front of this picture, this glowing square will show up highlighting a place, which is over in that direction. The only place we can find here is Mr. Brookhaven's old house. Here you can now find this weird glowing thing on the chair. It kind of looks like a glowy person with a triangle head. So yes, this white stick made that happen. But that's gonna have to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below which one of these secrets you like the most. Make sure to watch one
one of the videos on screen right now. They're no secret. They're just good. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more secrets in the future. Have a good one.